Oh, what a frustrating day. Oh, this doesn't help. Hey folks, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees in the wind. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season where we're going all the way from winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in Southeast Louisiana. And as always, remember this is not a how-to video. I'm not an expert at all. I'm simply an eight-year beekeeper just trying to make it work each day, each season. But if you happen to pick up any tips and tricks, that's wonderful. If you have any for me, leave me in the comment section. All right, guys. Uh, it's very windy. I already got bees. I got my suit on because I'm right in front of my hives. And I got a giant swarm up in a tree. I'm sure it's the third video I've made in one day, and I am sure as frustrating as this day has been with everything showing signs of going backwards instead of forwards, this is surely from one of my best hives. That, by the way, every hive that is in the second deep has supers on it. Uh, I believe this is from the one that has an excluder. But uh, no way to really be sure. I looked in it and there weren't a lot of bees because I went in to get some brood. So I've got a box below it. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. And it's sitting up high in the tree. And I'm going to get on a ladder on a itty bitty tree. And I'm going to try and cut the branch before I shake it. Um, I don't have a sheet. I'm not going to use a sheet or anything like that. I could, but uh, I'm not going to. Um, push comes to shove. I'll just shake the whole thing down into the box. But I'm going to see if I can get that limb down first without hurting myself. Uh, if it gets too dangerous, then I stop. Uh, but it's a big swarm. And uh, so I got a frame of brood down there. I got a drawn out frame I pulled from the freezer. It's thawing right now. I got some uh, frames. The wind is terrible. It's, we got about 10 mile an hour winds. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going to be able to narrate. You're just going to have to watch. So let me show you what we got. It's windy, guys, I know. But look at that tree. Now, I'm gonna get up on that ladder very carefully and uh, be ready to bail off of it in a hurry. That is a big swarm. And uh, I've got a box down here. It's got brood, it's got a drawn frame, and it's got some foundation. I'm gonna pull a couple of foundations out and then I'm gonna try and get up there and I'm just gonna put the video camera over there and I'll have to cut the wind noise out later. It's big though. That's three pounds, easy. I'm sure it's out of one of my best highs. All right, I'm gonna set y'all over here and we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. Plan B. This is plan B. But notice my ladder is in step ladder mode and I'm all the way in the back of the truck. I will not put a ladder up unsafely in the back of a truck. I had a viewer telling me about falling him falling out, somersault and landing on his head. You can get killed like this over bees. If I can't reach them from here, they don't get reached. Uh, but I, I like it in the step ladder mode, good and secure, and then in squarely in the back of the truck. 
uh, never in the extension ladder mode and never up on top of something more and even this isn't the safest but I feel safe doing it like this so I'm gonna go ahead and try and shake them on down see if maybe I can just pull it down and, and get it close and then pop it down on top of the box I got brood in there so that should bring them on in truck there I can barely get them over top of the box without putting it back on the ground beside it and then I'm gonna lose half to the truck so if I can saw it down and bring it on down this is always tricky because you tend to slip and lose the branch and everything falls Oh guys, ah. all right guys, this is a lot of bees, they're heavy, I, I've been toting them around, let's uh, all right guys, here we are. Let's put them in the box. I got brood in here, so what I'm gonna do is lay this across this box. Lay it on there. I got one drawn and one brood. Let's see what they do. The wind is bad, so I'm gonna hold this branch. let them go in. Hey 
That couldn't have worked out any better. That branch was cracked from them swaying on it for the last probably about an hour. They haven't been out here more than a couple hours. Because I was out here about two hours ago, three hours ago. They weren't here. I would have seen that swarm. That was a big swarm. I'm sure it was from my best time. I thought that branch was gonna break. I had to stop and freeze and figure out how I was gonna get down to get it and move the ladder over at the same time because if I would have pulled on it going down and it was swung, it would have thrown bees everywhere. The grace of God, I was able to get it down like this, but wow, I was sweating it. Yeah, they're coming down in there, they're going. I'm gonna give them a little puff of smoke here in a little bit. down in there. Shake these off. Hanging down off of here too. There we go. Oh, there's that other clump. Let's see what's in there. Forgot about them. Forgot all about them. They're down, they're down there laying on the grass. Fanning on the front, get a lid on. Definitely fanning on top. Let's move on over. All right, I think we're we're good. Oh, hey y'all. Well, I'm hollering because the air conditioning's on. Well, this is the third video in one day. Oh, what a frustrating day, guys. Ah, so. The other day, I already knew my bees weren't growing that much, and um, it's like we hit a brick wall. And uh, I know I'm chicken little every time this year is what my wife tells me, but it really does look rough. I mean, I'm barely putting supers on anything. And so I was kind of already down a little bit, so let me go look at the pond. Well, that didn't help. That frustrated me even more because I got two swarms going on uh, that, were, that were normal hives, growing normal, plenty of space to lay, not plugging the nest. You know, I'm going over all this. You've seen it before, but I'm going over it again to kind of show you how the day played out in case this is your only video you're watching from me. And uh, so then the, the you got those. You got the two supersedures not showing queens yet and putting more supersedures in. And it's like, oh, my goodness, what is going on down there? Those are my old queens. Uh, they're a year old, so, I mean, 
I don't know, I guess that's a, this is old enough for him to be swarming and superseding and doing everything else, but um, everything was normal growing. Everything is being done this year like I normally would do it. But anyway, so that was frustrating. Went back and did a second video to go and try and split them. Felt a little better, you know, kind of got back, regrouped, said, look, you do this every year, don't sweat it. Say, look, looks like they've already swarmed, couldn't find queens, took a split off of one, set it up at the house. Okay, feeling good, feeling right. I go out there and look, <coughs> excuse me, and I look up and there's a gigantic swarm hanging off of, I'm sure, my best hive, I'm sure. Who would be swarming? Everything is stacking up nicely. We're putting supers on. They're filling supers. They had space below. Ugh. Oh, throw some more frustration in my lap. You know, so I'm like, good gracious, what a day. But look, so we went through there, and I, I went to get that swarm, and I, I stuck a ladder up there, and I thought maybe it would stay the tree. As I got a few rungs up, it wasn't safe. The tree was moving too much. I was bending the tree over. Uh, as I went up it, so that wasn't safe. That wasn't going to work. Um, I won't. I won't get dangerous to get bees out of a tree. They can go. So then I, I got the truck, and I don't ever tell people get in the truck unless you can put your ladder in a very, very safe position. Um, and that's what I did. And I never extend my ladder up out of a truck. Uh, I never put my ladder on stuff in the back of a truck. I got it good and steady. Got the thing under, it, and realized if I would have yanked it. I still wasn't close enough the box I don't know would it, it wasn't sitting right under the thing under the swarm like the edge of the bed was so I couldn't get it out of the bed or in the bed so I was like well what am I gonna do let me go and see can I saw it safely saw it so I was gonna straddle the ladder and maybe pull it and see if I could just get a couple cuts to break it and then break it off well as I pull the branch and hopefully you can see in the video I stopped because it cracked and when it cracked I guess the weight of those bees, and we got 10 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour winds, these bees are swinging on that limb. I was three pounds easily of bees. I, it started cracking it, so it was already cracked. So when I pulled, it cracked more, and I thought, oh no, it was gonna swing down and just blow bees everywhere. So I started to go down the ladder, to, to slide the ladder over so I could get a hold of the branch. Well, as I go down it and let go, it starts to crack. So I grabbed it, went back up and thought about it, and uh, I went back and, and kind of eased down that ladder, slid it over real quick, and got back up there, and as you see, Hey, that was going for me. That was one good thing that went for me for sure. Uh, cracked that thing off and brought them down and walked back and forth with them, setting up my box where I, where I wanted to put them. Because no sense in putting them in a box there. This way I could just put them where I'm going to put them. So I walked everything back, brought you guys over, and my battery went dead. But look, I had gotten a frame of brood out of a hive. Um, and I uh, got a drawn frame out of the freezer. It was kind of cold. I'm surprised he got on that one. But, uh, and then the rest is foundation. Put a queen excluder on the bottom since I knew I could just set them down on there and let them all go in. Watch to see if anybody went down the sides. Did have that one clump hanging over the side, didn't see that, but I uh, didn't see a queen in that. I picked the whole box and excluder up and looked under the bottom board. No queen trying to get in, no queen underneath, so uh, they're there for now. Put the lid on them, shook the rest in, we're good to go. Uh, that was a big swarm. We'll get them going, get them laying, the, and during the towel flow, they should build all the frames out, so I'll be ready to go into wintertime. Uh, if I wind up with a bunch of singles going in the winter, I'll have to do a lot of feeding. Uh, that's when I do most, when I feed, it's mostly in fall, just to make sure everybody's built up for winter, so. Hey, it was a swarm call, unfortunately, it was in my own yard, so, but I'm, I'm eight swarms in now. <laughs> and I think uh, one, two, three of those are my own. And five of those are from elsewhere, so. But hey, it's fun. It's neat watching them. It's still fun to watch bees. It's still fun to play with them. And uh, no matter how frustrating it gets some days, you know, it's just an awesome responsibility to be able to uh, just be stewards of these, these uh, miraculous creations that we have. And it's just cool things they do. So, thank the Lord. And I thank God. And I give Him the glory. And I'm grateful that He protected me on that ladder and uh, gave me the wisdom not to be unsafe getting them. And to give me the wisdom not to go crazy to get them. Um, so many people right now hurting without without jobs right now. And these are bugs in a box, guys. Granted, very important bugs in a box. So not to complain, not to sit here and moan and groan because, um, guys, I just I feel for those that might be out without work right now, that are struggling. And I pray for our country. I pray for the people in our country. I pray for those that are affected by these things going on in our day and age right now um, and and I 
I have nothing to complain about. So to get frustrated over bugs in the box, uh, it's uncalled for. It's just what, if I don't get a drop of honey, um, I have nothing to complain about. So there's, there's somebody else out there that I'm sure I'm praying for that, that you know, has a lot bigger fish to fry than that. So, um, hey, man, we got a swarm. I'm glad you guys could come along. Uh, I grabbed the camera. Batteries were dead. I knew they were because I've done three videos in a day. <laughs> that's okay. We got them done. We got them out the tree. They, are, uh, they were just at my limit. Any higher, and they'd have found them a new home. Guys, thanks a lot for coming along. I appreciate all you guys that are watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe, of course. You know the you know the spiel. And share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with anybody that just enjoys watching bees. Hey, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Today, we did a swarm in the wind. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and God bless y'all.